Hello my dear students welcome back again in our mathematics class hope all of you are well at home so today we are going to learn a new chapter that is chapter number 13 smart charts in this chapter we are going to learn about data handling how to collect the data and how to represent the data means how to handle the data so let's start First of all, let me tell you that what topics we are going to learn or we are going to discuss in this video. Today, in this video, first of all, we will uh, learn what is data, collecting data, organizing data, interpretation of data. We will understand the what is mean by that and then we will start different ways of representation data. Then after that, here mainly we will learn how to represent data by using tally graph or you can say tally chart. So tally uh, today we are going to discuss about these are the things. First we will start with the understanding of collection of data, organization of data and interpretation of data. What does it mean by the these terms? Today we will discuss first. After that, we will start what is data, okay? So, let's go. First of all, we will understand the terms data collection, data organization and data interpretation. So, before starting this, let me tell you one situation. The situation is few friends meet after few years and they have decided to visit one place for one day but there are three options the options are zoo amusing park where they are in amusing park there is some scary rides are there so and one museum so in among these three options they cannot decide that which place they will visit. For that reason, they have decided to collect the votes. And the votes are coming in this way. Like, like first friend told zoo. Second friend told amusing park. Third friend also copied the second friend that is amusing park. And fourth friend, uh, he don't want to go. So he told that I don't want to go. And fifth friend also zoo, sixth one also museum, and seventh friend also told I don't want to go, and eighth number friend told far par. Now the problem is if you this is this type of information you are gathering in a uh, in such a manner that is collect collecting a data you are collecting some data. Now organization. Organization means you need to uh, show this in, in such a manner so that you can easy, we can easily understand from the data. We can un easily understand. We can take the decision. After collecting data, we, we, uh, they, they, uh, um, the friends who are collecting the votes, uh, he make a table. The table which is in green color, she, she, he written that is zoo 2. How many person like, uh, how many friends uh, like zoo? Two. Park, amusing park, three. Museum, one. And I, D, W, T, G. That is, I don't want to go. This is uh, another, another vote has come. So, that is two. So, which is the, now the interpretation of data means what will be our decision? Which vote is maximum? That is amusing park so most of them want to go park this is our interpretation of data means from the collection of data after organizing data the interpretation is everyone will go to park that is the interpretation of the data now what is data a collection of facts such as numbers words measurements observation or even just description of things is known as data so, a collection of facts such as numbers, words, measurements, uh, observation or even just description is a, uh, of things is, a, is known as data. Okay.
Now we will learn that what are the different ways we can represent the data. Data can be represented in many ways. They are telegraph, pictograph, bar graph, etc. For this uh, year, you will learn these are the three type, uh, three ways of representation of data. Data. After that, many types of data is there like uh, pie chart, um, line graph. No need to learn it now. Tele but today we are going to discuss only about telegraph not uh, pictograph not any bar graph so telegraph means what a telegraph is one method of collecting data it is also a method of collecting data representing data and interpret a data with tally mark in telegraph the numbers are represented through vertical lines and slanting lines Vertical lines and slanting line. Vertical means standing lines and slanting lines means you know that very well. Now tally marks means the number of occurrence. We give the mark by the lines by the number of uh, how many times it occurs. That is the number of occurrence. Okay. So for example how to give the tally mark. There is a uh, method that how to give the tally mark. See I have given some examples like number one there is a method of giving the tally marks so i have given you some examples in, in below uh, just observe the example number one one means one line one vertical line two two means two vertical line three three means three vertical line four means four vertical line five means four vertical line and one slanting line okay and see how i have given it six number Four vertical line, one uh, slanting line, that means five and one, another, another group is there. So, in this way, you have to give the tally mark. Four, uh, uh, giving five, I mean, means five, how, when we count the mark, then it will be easier for us to count the numbers. Like five means one slanting line will be there. After that, we will start again the new numbers. Okay, in this way we will. Now let us read the first example. Draw the tally marks of the following numbers. 9 is there. So how we can give the tally mark? 5 we will make uh, first of all 4 vertical line, 1 slanting line. Then again 4 vertical line. That is 5 plus 4. That means 9. 14. 10, 5 plus 5 plus 4. 13. 5 plus 5 plus 3. In this way we can give the tally marks. We can represent the numbers by tally marks. Now here I have shown you the I have shown you the tally marks only and you have to represent it by numbers. By giving the numbers. Give the answers in my comment section. Write the numbers represented by the tally marks. So tally marks is given. You have to put the numbers. How, you have to count the tally marks. Okay. So give the answers in my comment section. I need to know that how much you have learned from my presentation so check it and give the answers in my comment section now let us discuss our example number three consider a garden with lots of flowers mary has different types of flower pots which are given in the table below this uh, let me tell you that this type of table is called the uh, frequency table when the numbers uh, of tally marks is also be there that that kind of table is called the frequency table we will learn it next in the next example okay so how to uh, the question in this question the table is given let me read the table number of flowers and number of pots is there rose lily jasmine tulip daisy um, violet these are the flowers now using the table answer the following questions what are the questions let me read the question how many daisy flower um, pots are there so daisies column two pots are there two lines vertical lines are there so that means it will be two then so uh, next question which of the flowers have same number of pots same number of pots so we can easily understand that lily and jasmine these are the flowers have uh, four pots because four vertical lines are given so the answer will be lily and jasmine and which flower has the maximum number of pots it is a very easy to understand that is tulip so you have to observe the table and you have to give the answers so 
here let us discuss the uh, fourth number question the score obtained in 20 throws of a dice a dice is thrown 20 times and each time what number uh, comes that is written like in first thrown uh, five has come four second thrown four has come three two one one two five randomly it's come now you have to prepare the frequency table that what i have told you last example that frequency table last question frequency table is given now you have to make the frequency table for the above scores now how to uh, write the frequency table the frequency table of scores in 20 throws is you have to make three columns first one is as it is discussed on scores so you have to write the co column um, title scores then tally mark then tally mark and then frequency frequency means number of occurrence the tally mark what number you are uh, you are giving that you have to count there and you have to put it there only so scores means what type of scores we have get 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 these are the scores because in a dice these are the numbers are there only so you can do it in ascending order or descending order it is up to you so one how many times one has come three times so put it next two two has come how many times you just uh, collect it from the given data and just uh, give the tally mark and after that you can count it in frequency that is five five times two has occurred three how many times it occurs three times it occurs four four how many times occurs four times it occurs so you have to collect the data from the given uh, data uh, given question so and the total will be 20 so it is very easy fifth number question and it is the last question uh, in a in a class 15 children voted the monitor to of the class uh, the following results are obtained that is meena anita rakesh anita these names has come from the from 15 children these names are voted for the monitor of the class so you have to prepare the frequency table of the data means here you have to prepare the table and uh, if the question is is attached with the uh, table then you have to answer that also i will give you a question that who uh, will be the monitor from this vote who is elected from this vote so meena anita salma see here you have to count it so as it is name so you can make three columns and first column will be name second column will be tally marks and third column will be number of votes so just count it and check it and who will be the monitor just tell me now it is your homework uh, worksheet number 77 it is already uploaded in your school website you can check it from there you can download the pdf so that and then you can check the answers you can do the answers and if you have any query you can ask me in in the comment section and uh, just practice it so thank you for today i hope you understand this chapter very well